Hi, my name is Susan Hill, and I will be your instructor for the Reading Lab here at Carl Albert State College. In this short video, I would like to introduce myself to you and to also give you an idea of what you can expect from this course over the next few weeks. I was raised in Locust Grove, Oklahoma, which is up in the northeastern corner of the state, and attended Northeastern State University after I graduated from high school there. Uh, while I was at college, I met the love of my life, Bentley Hill, and we graduated from NSU, got married, and ran off to the island of Oahu, where we spent our first year of marriage working at the University of Hawaii. We decided that we loved the college setting, uh, that was just where we felt at home, so we came back to pursue our master's degrees at Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary in Fort Worth, Texas. And we graduated from there in 92 and uh, ended up going to OSU in Okmulgee, where my husband served as the director of the Baptist Collegiate Ministries, and I began employment with OSU Okmulgee as the director of admissions and high school and college relations. We did that for five years, and then we had the opportunity to move back to LaFleur County. My husband is from Howe, so this was coming home for him, and we took that opportunity. My husband became the BCM, or the Baptist Collegiate Ministries director here at Carl Albert, and I became a stay-at-home mom for 13 years. We do have two children. Our daughter, Samantha, uh, is now married and has just provided us with our first grandbaby. And they live here in LaFleur County as well. And our son, Brent, is finishing up his studies at East Central University where he's studying accounting. So that's kind of our family and, and who we are. I've been with Carl Albert since about 2010, and I really enjoy teaching the reading classes and the English classes and have just begun teaching religion courses as well. I look forward to having you in this reading class. Uh, I enjoy the lab because I feel like we can move at a little faster pace, but if at any point that you feel like we're moving too quickly, be sure and just tell me and we can slow things down. I kind of watch for your signals in class, but we do move at a little faster pace in this reading lab. We, while most of your assignments will be given in class and completed in class, there will be times that I refer you to Blackboard, and that's why I want you to be familiar with this tool and to play with it a little bit. You'll notice that uh, after this video, you can see a syllabus that's online that you can refer to at any point during the semester. It always has my contact information if you need to get hold of me and let me know that you're not going to be in class or if you're checking about homework that, that might have been assigned. You can always do that through shill at carlalbert.edu, and that contact information is right here on the Blackboard page. And the course itself is not designed to be difficult, but I think it's going to be very, very informative. We have basically three goals. Uh, the first one is that I want to help you build your vocabulary. So then we're going to do that through a textbook. Uh, it's called Active Vocabulary by Amy Olson. It is the only textbook that you will need for this class. Make sure that you get the sixth edition. These are available in the bookstore, and you can order them online. I think they're about 30 dollars either place. But you will basically work through this workbook on your own. This will be something that you do outside of class. Each chapter is designed to introduce you to academic or general words that will help you improve your vocabulary. They're words that you can use in your writings here at Carl Albert and in your academic studies as you move on from here. So I am requesting that you, you purchase this book. It's the only textbook that you will have. Uh, again, you'll work at your own pace. But you will see that there's a module set up for you here in Blackboard. It's called Active Vocabulary. When you hit the Start Working button, that's the first thing that'll pop up is Active Vocabulary. When you click on that, you will see 24 quizzes. After you complete a chapter in the book, then you'll want to go into the quiz section and complete the related quiz. Most of them are 10 questions. On the review chapters, the quizzes are a little longer, about 30 to 35 questions. But they should be easy. If you've completed the work in the textbook, in the workbook, you shouldn't have any trouble. In fact, I don't mind, it's open book quizzes. I don't mind you having this in hand when you take those quizzes. It's just another way of getting these words into your head and into your, you know, so that you will retain them. So that is your textbook, those are the quizzes, and that will count for a good portion of your grade. I will ask that all of these workbooks be completed by December 1st uh, so that we can get those turned in and uh, graded before finals are posted in December. Final grades are posted. So that's the first goal is that we're going to be building vocabulary. We'll also do that through some assignments in class, developing uh, like, like uh, comprehension clues, contextual clues. I'll teach you about those in class. My second goal for you is to teach you some reading strategies. So we'll look at three main strategies that have proven effective in helping to build comprehension. Uh, the first one is SQ3R. 
I know it sounds kind of mysterious, but it stands for Survey, Question, Read, Recite, and Review. We'll talk about that in class and we'll apply it to some articles. I'll also talk to you about highlighting and annotating, how to get the most out of that technique. And then the third technique we will, we will talk about is outlining. So I'll look forward to teaching you those strategies. And then my last goal for you is to teach you how to summarize without plagiarizing. Um, plagiarism is a huge problem on college campuses today. And so I, I want to teach you what plagiarism is and how you can avoid it. <clears throat> we will also, I'll give you some assignments where you'll read an article and then you'll put it in your own words and um, I'll give you feedback on those. So those are basically, that's how the class is structured. We'll meet one hour per week. And uh, again, most of our work will be done in that one hour, a little bit of homework on the sides while you're also working in this active vocabulary at your own pace. I really look forward to having you in class this semester and uh, learning with you. And if you have any questions at all, be sure and contact me. See you in class.